Hi there, my name is Randy Sims, and I'm the mayor of the beautiful city of Mount Pearl, right here in Newfoundland and Labrador. And I've been given the honor and the wonderful opportunity to invite you to come and join us for Mummers Convene 2013. It's all happening August 14th to 18th, 2013, right here in Mount Pearl. It's being hosted by the Mount Pearl Cadet Club. Don't know what a mummer is? Well, I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to come to find out. Look, Kinsmen and Canets have been serving the community's greatest need for years. You've been doing it right across this country. And sometimes you deserve a little thank you. Newfoundlanders and Labradorians want to do that in 2013. So you make it a point to come, okay? Mummers Convene 2013. You better register early because you don't want to miss out. Hey, take it from the mayor. You get here for the party. That's an order. <laughs> Mark, what's the noise out by the porch door? Granny, tis mummers, there's twenty or more. Her old withered face brightens up with a grin. Any mummers, nice mummers, loud in. Come in, lovely mummers. Mummering in Newfoundland and Labrador describes the practice of visiting several homes throughout an evening while dressed in disguise. Upon entering a home, the host would try to guess the identities of the mummers who were hidden behind some kind of a mask. Once a mummer was identified, they would remove their mask. Mummers commonly make their costumes from whatever happens to be around. A Newfoundland mummers could be heard to say that they make their costumes out of any darn thing they can find around, from something in an old trunk or in an attic. Some even pull the sheets right He's off the bed. His best part to make me not tell. Must be Willie from out on the hill. While mummering takes on a variety of forms, it's the social element that seems to underscore the house visiting tradition over the years. And just like kin, folks explain why they do it. Mummering gives them the opportunity to take time out from their everyday lives and have fun with friends, family, and community members. You will be staying at the Delta Hotel and Conference Center. Just less than 10 minutes walk from St. John's Harbor and Iceberg Quest Boat Tours, this hotel features a restaurant and an indoor heated pool. Every room offers city or harbor views. Mickey Quinn's restaurant menu items range from local Newfoundland seafood to steaks. It is open daily for breakfast, lunch and dinner and offers room service. The famous George Street and the restaurants and shops of Water Street as well as Newman Wine Vaults and the Railway Coastal Museum are less than 10 minutes walk from this conveniently located hotel. Members will also have the convenience of booking online when they complete their registration forms. Hi King Canada, I'm Michelle Case, President of the Mount Pearl Connect Club. And as the planning for 2013 National Convention grows, so does our excitement and enthusiasm. We're a strong, vibrant club with a rich history dating back to the 1960s and with 32 enthusiastic, wonderful members. We can't wait to share the love of Mount Pearl, St. John's and the province of Newfoundland with you, the members of Kin Canada. So plan to join us August 14th to the 18th as Mummers Convene 2013. From the opening ceremonies to the final farewell on Sunday morning, you will get to experience the heritage and culture 
of Newfoundland and Labrador. Now let's see what will unfold at Mummers Convene 2013. The National Speak Off will be held at the Delta. Make sure your district is represented. It's definitely a highlight of all kin conventions. On Wednesday evening, you will experience mummers as they've never been presented before. The opening ceremonies will have all the pomp and circumstance of a normal Kin Canada opening ceremonies. However, we will have lots of music, dance, and a few special surprises. Thursday evening will be the highlight of your visit to St. John's. Members will experience the famous nightlife of George Street, where you can visit 40 different pubs, restaurants, and bars. We'll start the night with a scoff at one of the local restaurants. And before too long, we'll be making our way on a pub crawl along George Street. Later in the evening, we will go for a scuff, and that's gonna be a good time at another club. This will be a private kin function, and you should book your time early, because we know this one is gonna sell out. The Connect Club have made arrangements with the local company, McCarthy's Party, for various tours in and around the St. John's area. You could choose to do Outports, Lucky Rocks and John Guy's Colony. Or maybe you could take in a lighthouse picnic at the Colony of Avalon. You could visit Cabot Tower high atop Single Hill, one of the most easterly points in Canada. Or you could travel by coach along the Irish Loop to Bay Bulls, where you could join the O'Brien family for a private boat ride out to the Whitless Bay Ecological Reserve. This is the home of 100,000 Atlantic Puffins and Humpback and Menke Whales. From the comfort of the Delta Hotel meeting rooms, we will do the business of the annual general meeting. We will have speeches, listen to guest speakers, debate business, and hold elections. But mostly we will celebrate we will celebrate the service we do, the money we raise to help people all across Canada, the help we provide to researchers for cystic fibrosis, multiple sclerosis, and other organizations, and the thousands of acts of kindness that we, Kin Canada, do for people in our communities every single day. We will celebrate Kin. And when we celebrate, we will also remember one of Founder Hal's mantras, service through fellowship. Folks, I encourage you to come to St. John's, Newfoundland from August 14th to the 18th, 2013 for Mummers Convene 2013, Kin Canada's National Convention.